everybody, welcome back to probably the final episode of Gauntlet. But I said that last time we had to scrap the episode due to recording issues, so who knows? Eight minutes, man. Eight minutes of footage gone. That was eight yeah. minutes? Well, we recorded it, and then I looked over at uh, XSplit, and it was just a still photo of us in the hub. <laughs> so it wasn't going so well. I figured um, we well, should probably go here's fight the story this boss. Again. Uh, this time the subtitles aren't here for some reason. They really aren't. <laughs> so here's here's a rundown. This guy, Just act this out. guy yeah. right here, is apparently was our, well. He was our narrator through the whole thing. This is the first time we've ever seen him, though. And apparently through the whole game, we've been getting uh, sword pieces, and you put them together. Yeah. And now he's like, oh, we finally got the sword of Tearfang, or I think, or something. And then he's like, but it's Turf. Turfing, and it requires one yeah. last sacrifice. And then he turns evil. Oh no! The plot. You twist. know, just once I'd like to see like an RPG fantasy game where there wasn't this twist <laughs> at the end. <laughs> I feel like every game it ends up being like I've manipulated you, and you're like, yeah, I know. Let me kill you, and then all right, I win. It's all right. So we gotta shoot these uh, so purple eggs. So what type of ending would you like instead? Something original. I would, would like. Hey, work. we've got to kill this like ultimate bad guy, and then you do it, and then that's the end of the game. And he's like, yeah, he's like. Okay, the end. <laughs> you did it. You could just do it without, without all the pomp and circumstance. Yeah, just like a sometimes a straightforward story isn't it's necessarily like, a bad, actually bad the thing. whole time you were the villain. <laughs> right, exactly. Like the thing that makes uh, twists special is that not everything has them. But all right, dude, relax with the know. slashing. A lot of these games uh, have some kind of like backstabby twist at the end. So you're like, okay. Although I guess you know at the same time. Not to be insulting to Arrowhead, but I don't think too many people really cared about the story in Gauntlet. Uh, it's not so. even Arrowhead, I just think it's the Gauntlet series in general. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah, do you think if you're developing this game, like at some point you're like, alright, the story does not matter whatsoever? Yeah, yeah, you probably allocate a lot less time to it, at least. Just hire, like, like the lead programmer's 12-year-old nephew. You've played a lot of games, really, man. You've really <laughs> insulting to the writer. Yeah, hey, come on, come on. You're not gonna get any calls from WB, man. Yeah, you're not even like a good 12-year-old writer. You just like it's nepotism. You just know the programmer. <laughs> Look, man, if they actually care about the story of this game, then they have uh, another thing coming, right? Well, oh yeah, I was gonna say. Here's the thing: even if there had been like an incredible story in it, do you think anyone would really right. notice? I don't think if so. If they paid somebody a lot of money to write this story, they made a big mistake. That's a good point. I'm trying to think of like a... It's like, you know, you paid someone to write a good story in Madden. <laughs> right. <laughs> People aren't there for the, the narrative, I It's like I the UFC like. game Superstar Mode, where you like have the story of your rise from the bottom to the top. Dude, don't even get me started on that horseshit. <laughs> exactly! You don't give a shit! <laughs> I liked it in, N I think it was the last one I played was NBA 2K13, where you play yeah. like superstar mode, and there's like the interviews at the end, and uh, the press conferences at the end, and the guy just does like the same like three things over and over again. I hear though, though that that's actually like the best uh, like superstar mode in any sports game. You no, know, it was a Ooh. really good superstar mode, but the, the recorded dialogue at the end was always the same bullshit every fucking time. Like what you won an NBA championship? Congratulations! Like, I know it wasn't even the championship. It was after every game, and you do the press the press conference <laughs> after every game, so, and then you have the choice of like saying the reason why you won was because of yourself or your teamwork or the coaching, or the reason why you lost was because of yourself, the teamwork or the coaching. Uh -huh. My favorite was just being the dick. The reason why we won was because of me, and the reason why we lost was because of everybody else. And then you have like your team chemistry can change based off that. Oh, you, you like that? Did you like that? I followed him around no! for two minutes straight oh! to reclaim the throne that is rightfully mine. <laughs> I feel like this guy, this, it, this like, run through here, he's been a little bit like slower. Yeah, he he's is. He's kind of just taking his sweet fucking time. I remember in like uh, the NHL series, I think like NHL 09 or 10, uh, it is the same thing where you can kind of do like, uh, you, instead of playing as the whole team, you can just play as one yep, player yep. if you want to. So we would do that. But the thing is, you you get graded on like how kind of accurately you play relative to a normal game. So you'll, you'll do like a 45 second or like a 90 second shift and they'll be like, okay, come off now. But we would always just like <laughs> shake off the, the calls to come off and then hang out near the net. We'd get like five or six goals per game, but the coach would always be like, we're demoting you down to like the second line because- Teamwork, come on, man. Yeah, you, you're not a team player. And I'm like, well, we, we won 9-0. Kind of like Dan right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just calling you out, Dan. 
People told me not to believe in your mist or something, whatever the fuck that meant. <laughs> yeah! I don't know what you're talking I, about. I know, it's a, I know it's a BB reference, I just don't get it. No, I don't know. I, my strats, I'm just... The B, uh, the Dan mist. Okay, you died, Durst of Times. What is what is the Dan mist? I don't mist? know, but my commenters oh. were saying it. Dan, what's your mist? It's, uh... He's going to give you a bullshit answer, which is probably what the mist is. <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! I was so careful. Not really. Now tell me so what the mist is. <laughs> I'll give you the crown. Um, I don't know what it is. That's the beauty. You don't know it. until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I said bullshit answer. <laughs> I think Mathis is right. That is a bullshit answer. Hey, well, you know what? That's somehow, that's life. That's, a, that's life. That's a life lesson for you, laddie. We never came up with the the frivolous thing that we would buy. No, I, yeah, what would you do? I still haven't come up with. All right, a really how good about answer. this? How about this? I would buy every porn actress that's part of Brazzers an American Eagle T-shirt. <laughs> there you go. That's a business expense. How man. is that a business expense? I'm not sponsored <laughs> would, by either one. How, how would Carrie feel about that? She'd laugh probably. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You have to go through some trouble to get all their email addresses, and then their addresses? That's true. Well, I don't you need the addresses. The American Eagle needs the addresses. Alright. It could be a promotion. Right. That's why I said it's a business expense. <laughs> Cheating the system, man. I think the problem is you can spin any purchase as practical. Yeah, that's true. I just... How could you spin throwing a million dollars off a bridge practical? Okay, well, <laughs> that's a social purchase. experiment. Yeah, okay. Been a lot of those recently. <laughs> yeah, he's getting what's for now. Yeah. Thank God. Let's not get that conversation going in the ch the comments. Oh yeah, who do you that's, know? That's why you be patient in this life. <laughs> you got me. This guy is so slaggy right now. He's I just like. So ex Sorry. I get too excited. <laughs> Dan's like just a, a big kid. It's all right. <laughs> Come on. I have the shield. See, this is what I feel like. The Valkyrie is made for holding onto the crown to the end of the holding game. The crown, yes. Man, this you've been targeted for death, man. I'm dead already. I'm back though. That's no, gonna be. You know, somebody should tell that wizard then. He's wasting his energy right now. Nicely done, Merlin. Why? Thank you. Whoa! This is like all all of the Morax were right here. You guys want to fight Morak? Well, I'd love to, but out? he's got the camera stuck up top because he's afraid. <laughs> uh, just let it go. I'll just let it go. Just let it go. Damn it! I moved to the closest corner. I was gonna say let it go and let it let him the uh, let it hit him. Oh, I see. Oh, you jerk! But it's too late now. Well, that's <laughs> when uh, I didn't even drop any gold tonight. Well, I guess there's no gold on the fight. At, so. at the very least, you're getting he's getting no kills, so his score won't matter. That's true. You think you're gonna be Lord Ass Pounder with this That's kind of what I'm attitude? <laughs> I'm just trying to protect the throne. <laughs> oh, no. every time, every time. It, he who holds the throne last was it uh, held it first. It first. Yes. <laughs> All right, definitely. Uh, he's coming. There we go. Oh no! Fuck me. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, there we go. CCH Pounder. <laughs> Did we explain that, or was that in the, the bad recording? Oh, that was in the bad recording. Uh, so there's an actress named CCH Pounder, but you guys don't know about it now. It's too late. <laughs> that moment was lost. It's in the Gauntlet, the uncut series. Yeah. It's like the a, lost the episodes. Actual, right? yeah. You guys ever want to see eight minutes of us talking about something, like the first CD we ever bought? Well, we just kind of stand in the hub, like not moving at all. Let Northern Lion I may, know. I may post that as the lost episode. I'm gonna post it with like 12 minerals. <laughs> Don't worry, Machinima <laughs> takes care of that for you. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> I'm controversial, Pub guys. Public, I'm a very publicly bashing your network. <laughs> yeah, no comment. <laughs> That's the first time, though, I haven't heard you spin your way out of a statement. No right. comment. You know, I'm I'm pleading the fifth. You don't live in the United States, man. I know, States, but normally, normally you can get out of it. Like when Mathis was bashing something. 
What was he bashing? I like and to you, like, took start a controversy neutral for stance. no reason. It's probably a bad idea. The, the writer of the oh, game right. was... <laughs> well, it's over now. That conversation is long gone. The... No, then Ryan oh. goes, well, if, you know, I don't really think they were focusing all the resources uh, on the story. The <laughs> Whatever. The writing in this game is fantastic. Grade A. Well, I can still spin my way out of it. The problem is that people think no comment means you have uh, you have something negative to say, but you don't want to say it for diplomatic reasons. I just genuinely have no comment. That's positive, not true. Positive or negative. I just don't have anything to think about that. It's the first lie you've ever told me. <laughs> and you don't know Ryan very well. Nah, that's true. All right, this is Maybe I'll your get the time to shine, <laughs> Morak. Authentic Bulgarian Miak. Morak defeated. Does he uh, have a second phase? Nope. <laughs> wow. Arr, All right. Arr, 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 arr. That's really cut scene. Look like you got the triple. It is done. You deserved much worse, Morak. If I could, I would drag you back from the dead and kill you again. But I have more important things to do. Oh, baby, we broke the sword into triple. <laughs> Hey, look at we're running with a barbarian apparently. I don't know where he was this whole time. Picked him up on the way out. What was that knapsack? Did you see the knapsack? Hey, <laughs> did you see in that little uh, picture the uh, elf was one wearing the crown? I wonder if that's done yeah. on purpose or what. Floor cleared. Floor cleared. Oh one. my god. Look at that score from Lord Kelthar. Right? Dude's a, I just farmed dude's it. a world I got 450. Champ. Wow. What? Wait, where's the difference crown? in the scores? There is none. Kill no, no, no kill count? Really? Look at the difference in his in the scores here. Lord Kelthar has 175,000. Yeah. Number two has 1,350. Excuse me? What the fuck? What, what the, the heck was that? that? <laughs> uh, someone like know, the, hacked yeah, Skype yeah, call. Like, <laughs> All right, who are you, sir? <laughs> well. <laughs> play a game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so since no one has a crown, what happened? Nothing, we all tied. So then who was the true crown Nobody, holder? Apparently. It should tell you at the end. That's the plot twist. What is that? Who's this? Isn't this Morak no, right this here? It's like death. Death chases you sometimes <laughs> and sells you things others. And that's the All game. Right. That's Gauntlet. That was Gauntlet. What do hey. you got? What are your final thoughts? It was fun. Definitely a game you play with friends, though. Yep. Uh, I have a hard time seeing myself going through the game uh, for a second New time. Game. New game. Even <laughs> Yeah, even on a harder difficulty, but I, I had a good time with if, it. Uh, for if there was like more stuff. persistent progression, more upgrades, more unique upgrades, that would be something to go back and maybe play it for. But I don't. Yeah, normally I'm not even that into like um, like RPG elements, but I kind of feel like yeah, having some character progression would give me a little bit more incentive. I, but then we're basically just asking for Diablo. That's I guess. true. That's true. I would have liked a little bit more variety in level design too. I mean, it was different enough. I guess, but but overall, it's still I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I think so, it's pretty good. So, what was your favorite moment? If you had to backtrack through our previous twelve plus it's like episodes, like the post-winning interview going on right now. Yeah, the glitch where we had to redo that entire <laughs> level. <laughs> That's true. Matt, the, the, Matt, the you have a favorite moment. Frozen was was pretty fucking hilarious. Anytime I ended with the crown is my favorite moment. You would say I that. Would. You know what I think is? Oh, I guess like some of these equipment items are only equipable on. Uh, Hard or unfair difficulty. I get it. I think it's like the game with the way the game is structured, it's very difficult to actually experience more than like one or two relics per uh per playthrough. Like you, you don't seem to get that much gold to actually spend, but maybe we just suck. I think we just suck. Yeah. That's fair. We I was we are champion. trashed here. <laughs> <laughs> we did hold the crown or we held the world championship at one it's point. On video. Yeah. They can't take it away no. from us. Never. Anyway, Sorry. that's it. Lord Pounder. Lord Ass Pounder. <laughs> Lord Ass Pounder. <laughs> well, that was fun. Yeah, like I said earlier in the Lost episode, you know, I appreciate you guys inviting me. Math is setting it up. I had a ton of fun. No problem. Yeah. Again, yeah. Thank you, Mathis, for setting it up. Like I said in the Lost episode, pretty much if you build it, I will come. <laughs> <laughs> and like Mathis said, I'm terrible at organizing things, but I can usually show up on time. Although these episodes are a little early Pacific time. It is getting you up at a decent hour, man. You got that. You got your creative juices <laughs> flowing now. It's too late. Yeah, that's one way. I gotta get another kind of juice flowing. I hadn't didn't have my normal morning routine here. Right. Whoa! Wow. I don't. Want I'm not sure which way to take that one. I feel bad for Kate. 
It's the CCH Pounder way. <laughs> In any case, <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for your support in the series so far. Maybe we'll be back with uh, with something collaborative in the future, but it probably won't be gauntlets. And by probably, you mean definitely. Yeah. I had nothing against it, but uh, I think we've done it. Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for your support, and catch you later, I guess. Bye. Ooh, baby. Come on.